to regulate the conduct of elections in the federal, state, and area councils in the federal capital territory and for related matters. The lawmakers commenced clause by clause amendment of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, clauses 1, 5, 23, 24, 30, 46, among others, were moved and amended. The Speaker of the House of Representatives had moved for Clause 49, Subsection 2, which states that any other electronic device should be expunged. We have said what we will be passing is that beyond smart card reader, I never can use any other thing. That's what we have just, we have just yes, about. Yes, sir, because technology let's just put it, let's is put growing the every day. Chairman, let's put the question. <laughs> thank let's, you, sir. Let's put the question whether we Second want to or want to leave it. If you want to leave it, that's thank, fine. Thank you. But the climax of the drama was Clause 52, Subsection 2, which states that voting at an election and transmission of results under the bill shall be in accordance with the procedure determined by the Commission. Apparently, this particular clause had dominated the media space in the last two weeks. Representative Toby Okechuku rose to move for an amendment and was seconded by the House Deputy Chief Whip. The question was put to a voice vote and this was what happened. My amendment... My amendment is that my amendment is to the effect that transmission of results under this bill under the election shall be by electronic transmission. I rise to second that the election results to be transmitted uh, electronically. No. I so second. No. No. What did he say? Say nay. Nay. In their service. The house became rowdy following the ruling of the presiding officer. Again, a point of order was raised by Representative James Falake, saying that transmission of results should be both electronic and manual. Representative Kingsley Chenda had asked for division of the House. Transmission of results under this bill shall be both in, uh, electronic and manual. With the procedure. Of the so the only thing we can do, which we have been attempting to do, and uh, I think Honorable Toby has raised is to ask for a proper division of the house. That's the only way forward. We can visit it. Yes, sir. Again, the ruling of the speaker created a rowdy session. Again, say nay. Nay! The nays have it. Meanwhile, the speaker had stood to guide the house, but he was counted by the majority leader, Hassan Adodogwa. But on this particular observation you made, Mr. Speaker, I stand here to under moral commitment say, when a matter is raised here and a boy's board is taken, the gavel is hit, it's a concluded matter. Yeah. No. So it's a concluded matter. The disagreement lingered with the lawmakers engaging in fisticuff. The matter ended in a deadlock with the Speaker adjourning sitting to Friday asking that the Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission and the NCC should make appearance and brief the lawmakers on the controversial subject matter. Let me repeat myself. Let me repeat myself. The INEC Chairman and the NCC will be here at 10 a.m. tomorrow to brief us on Section 52. Adjourn to tomorrow 10 a.m. By 10 a.m. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The House will resume plenary on Friday, 10 a.m.